Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. So as you get going for today, be on the lookout for slippery and wet roads. We are experiencing some thunderstorms that are producing some moderate to heavy downpours, and that could result in some ponding of water in low lying areas. So watch out for that as you head off to your destination, get to school or get into town for work. This is along College Avenue where we are experiencing some light steady rain showers. You can see the sheen on that road stretch indicating it is wet and slick. This is the round of showers and thunderstorms rolling through the region. So some steady rain all the way up through parts of the Keweenaw, Barriga County, Western Marquette County, the stronger thunderstorms uh, more towards the south central areas of the EP, Southern Marquette County, Dickinson County now moving into parts of Menominee County. Here's what's happening. There's an area of disturbance that's gradually moving through with a weak cold front. That's going to continue to track from west to east across the region. We're going to have some cooler air settle in behind that for Thursday, extending into Friday. So here's a closer look at those showers and thunderstorms. As I mentioned, steady rain basically from western Marquette County all the way up into the Keweenaw. There's that one main cluster of thunderstorms that's a little bit stronger. So this one is definitely producing several strikes of lightning and a lot of thunder there. Heavy rain with this right in the core of this north of Felt and uh, just north of 69. So this is essentially west of uh, 35 moving into parts of southern Marquette County south of Republic right now. Additional rainfall amounts for today extending into this evening will have ranges of around a quarter of an inch to half of an inch for most places. Now some of these will easily produce around an additional inch of rain with some of those stronger thunderstorms that are a little bit, a little bit more prolific rain producers. So here's the hour by hour. We'll still see some of those rain showers and thunderstorms this morning here 7 a.m. That skirts east. We're still going to have a few of these widely scattered showers and isolated thunder showers in to the afternoon and evening. And then as we look towards Thursday, wind flow will start to increase out of the north behind that disturbance, becoming a little bit more breezy. Speeds of around 15 miles per hour. Gusts could range 20 to 25, but we're still going to have enough cloud cover and moisture in the area that with that wind flow coming off of Lake Superior, that will likely trigger a few spotty lake effect rain showers for tomorrow. So it might be a little drizzly, still kind of a little damp and wet, along with it being a little bit cooler. So this afternoon, let's talk about those temperatures dropping into the 50s across the west end, expecting it to still top off in the lower to mid 70s in the central and east. That's 230. Here we go tomorrow morning. We start off in the lower 50s with a few upper 40s along the Wisconsin state line, and you can see those temperatures don't improve a whole lot. Tomorrow afternoon, the highs will have ranges of low to mid 50s in the northern areas with mid to upper 50s across the southern counties of the UP. And then as we head towards Friday, those temperatures will breathe bound back into the 60s before we see some 70s on Saturday and then another disturbance will bring in a few spotty rain showers on Sunday with more thunder showers on Monday and below normal temperatures.